Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. This video is uh, on whole numbers and it is subtraction by hand. All right, so we'll start with these couple of questions. 64 minus 23. So just the same as we do in addition, we line up our tens and our ones. So 64 and 23. Right. Now what we do is just subtract, right? So 4 minus 3 is 1. And 6, take away 2, gives us 4. All right. So when the numbers on top are larger, it's pretty, pretty straightforward when we're subtracting. All right. And if we're doing this and we're thinking, I'm not sure, all we have to do is add these numbers up. So the 3 and the 1 have got to equal the 4, and the 4 and the 2 have got to add up to be the 6. All right. So now let's try this question. 253 minus 79. Now it's always this question, or these kinds of questions, where we are glad we often have calculators, right? Okay. So what we do here is we see we have 3 minus 9, which we know we, we can't do, all right? So then what we do is we borrow from the 50. So we take a 10 from here, and this becomes a 4. And we put that 10 with the 3, which gives us 13. So remember what we have here, we have 53, and we could say that's essentially 40 plus 13, and that's what we're doing. We're saying, okay, I'm going to take 10 from the 50 and put that 10 with the 3, which will give me the 13, and taking a 10 from the 50 gives me a 40 in the tens place, all right? So in the tens place now we have a 4. And we we can see also that the 4 is small and 7, but we'll deal with that when we get to it, okay? So right here, 13 minus 9 is 4. Now 4 minus 7 can't do it. So then we do the same thing. We just go up another 10, so go up to the hundreds position, borrow from there, so this becomes then a 1, and we borrowed from the hundreds position to make this a 14. And you can see as well that the 14 here is 100 or 140, right? Because it's in the tens position. So then we take our 14 minus the 7, and we get a 7. Now we're left with a 1 in the hundreds position, and 1 minus 0 is 1. So the answer to this question would be 174. And then again, if you're thinking, oh, you know, I'm not sure, you take your 174, add it to the 79. That's a 3, carry the 1, 5, carry the 1. 2. So that's where we start at 253. Okay? Now if you want, you can pause the video and try these questions and then just restart it and I'll walk through them. All right. 481 minus 367. So we have 481 minus 367. So 1 minus 7 we can't do, so we borrow from the 8. So this becomes a 7, and this becomes a 1. So this is now 11 here. So we have 11 minus 7, which is 4. 7 minus 6 is 1. 4 minus 3 is 1. And again, if you're thinking, oh, I don't know, you just add it up and see if it adds up, okay? Now, last question. 
52 minus 873, which is, you know, it's one of those subtractive questions which you don't really want to have to do. <laughs> but here it is. All right, so um, 2 minus 3 we can't do, so we borrow from the 50. We borrow the, from the 5 here. This becomes a 4, and we put a 1 in front of the 2. 12 minus 3 is 9. 4 minus 7 we can't do, so we borrow from the 1. And so this is a hundred, right? But we borrow from it. This becomes a zero. And we put a one in front of the four. So now we have 14 minus seven, which is seven, okay? Now we look at this and we see, okay, here's zero minus eight. However, we can also see that we could say, oh, you know what, that's actually kind of a 10. We could borrow from this 1, I guess, and make that a 0 and then put a 1 there, but we could do one or the other. So essentially what I'm seeing here is a 10 minus the 8, which gives us 2, all right? And then again, if you're not feeling sure about that, you just take your numbers and add them together to see if it's right. So this is a 2, carry the 1. That's a 5, carry the 1, 1, 1. So then that tells us we're okay. All right, so that's basically subtraction of whole numbers, not subtraction yet of 0, but those that video is coming. So. That's been brought to you by Wise Guys. Have a good day.